Hey there everyone, today we are at the Met Office in the UK. If you don't know what the Met Office is, they measure the weather and the climate and do forecasts and all that kind of thing. But also, they have incredible archives telling us about the history of weather. And today, I'm with Catherine Ross, who runs the archive here. Thank you for having us. You're most welcome. Now, I don't know much about the weather, but there is one thing I have heard of. It's the Beaufort scale. This is how you know how strong a wind is. Is it a force one or a two or a 12? But where did the Beaufort scale come from? Who was Beaufort? What does it all mean? We're about to find out. That way. We'll go this way and we'll go and find his diaries. Who is him? So him is Sir Francis Beaufort, although he was a captain when he was writing these diaries. Yeah, Admiral Beaufort, 1805, 1807. So there we go, Beaufort, he's an actual person. Yep, he's a real life person. He was writing his diaries when he was serving in the Royal Navy and he was interested in all aspects of the weather mm. um, and particularly in the wind. Okay, I guess if you're the captain of a ship, you're pretty interested in the wind. Yeah, it helps. Okay. So here we have the diary for 1805 to 1807. And, you know, he's talking about all sorts of things here. He's actually victualling his ship. So he's on HMS Woolwich and he's ready to go on a voyage. So he's sort of putting everything on board that he needs for the voyage. OK, so this is sort of like the inventory, is it? Yeah, yeah. Butts of water and barrels. And that's all the water there and beer. Oh, OK, <laughs> so he's got 101 and a half tons of water. How much beer has he got? He appears to have six tonnes of beer. Sounds like a lot of beer, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how long he was due to be away. And then the next day, in his diary, he writes the epic words. Hereafter, I shall estimate the force of the wind according to the following scale, as nothing can convey a more uncertain idea of wind and weather than the old expressions of moderate and cloudy, etc, etc. Everybody's going to have a slightly different version of what they think is windy. So he wants to try and quantify it and get this down to something that everybody will use in the same way. Okay. So on the 12th of January 1806, he writes this down and he starts with zero, which is calm. OK, and he's got a one, a two. What are some of these other ones? I'm terrible at handwriting. <laughs> His handwriting's OK. So we've got light breeze, gentle breeze, moderate breeze. There's a lot of breezes, you know, fresh breeze. And then we go over here and we've Hang got... Hang on a second. <laughs> he's used moderate after saying moderate's an inadequate word. So. But you see, he's gone light, gentle, moderate and fresh. So he's trying to, to split up moderate into kind of, you know, 15 parts, if you like. OK. Um, and then we have a gentle, steady gale, a moderate gale, a brisk gale, a fresh gale, a hard gale, a hard hard gale with heavy gusts and a storm. And you'll notice we have 13 forces, which is a bit weird because we know the Beaufort scale as having 12 forces. And it starts with zero, doesn't it? So I guess there's kind of 14 in a way. Theoretically, but... there's mm. actually 14 here. OK. And I think what he realised was actually this still wasn't hugely useful because what is a brisk scale? Still, how do you actually define that and make sure everyone's doing it the same? Still at this point though, do we then see on the subsequent pages he starts using these Absolutely, numbers? Absolutely, yep. Literally the following day, you've got wind, nor nor east, four, six. He says a six, a five, a four. So already he's using the, oh look, we've got a 10 here. Yep, on the mm. hour 12. So it's hour one to hour 12 on the day. So yeah, yeah it's getting uh, quite windy that day. So every hour he's using these numbers? He is, absolutely. OK. But you're saying this isn't the finished product. He, he, no. he refines it. Yeah, this, this, this is, this is you know, version, version one, if you like. Okay. But it's not perfect because he might have that idea of what a hard gale is. But the next sea captain could have a totally different idea of what that is. OK. So in the diary for the next year... Here comes version 2.0. Absolutely. Here we have Beaufort Diary 2.0. And he's put it at the front of the yep. diary now. Yeah, okay. straight in. It's like a key and a map. First thing on the page. Scale of wind. And now we go 1 to 12. Mm -hmm. So we've lost the 0 and we've lost the 13. Absolutely. So this is what we kind of know much better as the Beaufort scale. But more than that, even though we've kind of got umpteen breezes and several gales, what he's done here is write down what we call an impact scale. So what that actually means to a man of war. And a man of war is not a person fighting a war. A man of war is a ship. Absolutely. Okay. Yes. <laughs> All right. So essentially that means that you can always apply the same thing to the same breeze because it's how many sails you can carry, what type of sail you can carry, how fast you can go you know, in each force of wind. So you've got force one, light air, that which will enable a man of war to steer. So it's just about going to move. OK, so it's not absolutely dead calm. Yeah, you, you, can, yeah you, you, can, can... you can just about move. OK, two. Uh, light breeze. 
knots, that which will carry a man of war with all sail set yep. at three or four knots. And then we can go four or five knots and then five or six knots. They're the next rise. Yes. This is very hard to argue with. He's saying if you've got all your sails up and you're going three to four knots, that's a two. Yeah. Exactly. Right, you know, right. you can quantify this and everybody can do it the same way every time. OK. And what are some of the more uh, tasty ones? <laughs> so as we go through, it's kind of you know, which types of sail that you can carry. So let's have a look at this one. So five, a fresh breeze, that to which hold topsails, gallants, royals and flying jib and stay sails may be carried full and by. So you've lost your main sails, for example, but you can carry other sails. Um, this is an eight, a fresh scale, is that? Yeah, so the same ship could barely carry courses and treble reefs. So a reef is when you take a bit of the sail out so it gets smaller. Yeah. So you've kind of got one reef, two reefs, three reefs, and your sail's getting smaller and smaller. And then up at the end here, we have storm, that which would blow away any sail made in the usual way. So basically, you can't carry any sail. Yep. And then I love this one, hurricane. <laughs> it's just a hurricane. Hurricane. <laughs> a 12 is like, forget about it. Yeah. OK, and then this is the Beaufort scale. And I'm imagining, even though we still use the Beaufort scale today, it's moved on from being about sails and things like that. I guess they just actually use numbers and kilometres per hour, don't they, now, for winds or... Yeah, I mean, you'll still hear in a forecast, it's not, it's not at all uncommon to, you know, to hear, you know, 4-6. Um, certainly it's used in the shipping forecast all the time. In the early 20th century, they actually tried to produce a land scale version that sort of helps you to, to use the same thing. It's still got 12 forces, but it's how you'd see it on land. So what are some examples of that, like uh, uh, trees bending or...? Exactly. Leaves, leaves move rustling and then branches moving, having difficulty holding on to, to your hat or your clothing, okay. um, chimneys coming down further down the scale. Okay. How do you feel seeing it being born here in the handwriting of Beaufort himself? That must blow your mind. These must be so precious. Yeah, these are some of the most precious things that, you know, that we have in the archive. They're the birth of the weather as we think of it every day. Yeah, being measured in kind of standardised ways and things like yeah. that. Yeah, there's always some form of wind, you know, whether it's you know, force one or force 12, it, there's always wind. Oh, this is amazing. Well, thank you for showing it to us. I'd love to look at it some more. If you're a weather aficionado, well, we've got more videos coming from the Met Office, but we've also done a few at the Royal Society over the years. You can see them on the screen at the moment. In fact, we'll put a link down in the description to a whole bunch of weather videos you might like. So this is doing the barometric pressure, presumably. That's right. And while you're at it, if you want to support our channel and help us keep making more videos, why not become a Patreon supporter? Like the names of the people you see on the screen at the moment. Supporting us on Patreon not only helps the channel, it also gives you access to extra pictures and documents and videos, behind the scenes stuff that no one else gets to see. Oh look, this it's is the weather. weather. Yeah, so these are meteorological records. The weather in December. Again, look down in the video description, there'll be links and all the information you'll need. A little snapshot of the weather on a given day. And I love that these weather records exist all the way back. We're in the 1800s here, 